The gent, he was here. As soon as you entered the hole, he fled. The gent was here? Did he speak to you? He threatened us, told us he was going to bring down the city. The madman said we deserved it. You don't seem hurt. What about the other Meisters? Just a few cuts and bruises. My own automatons held the doors and kept the enemy at bay. The gent never got to my constables. Bad luck for him. <laughs> he fled on foot? No. He opened one of those shimmering doors, just over there, in the corner. A causeway right here on the Meister Hall. Fascinating. I wonder where it leads. You do not give up, do you? How much did the Meisters pay you to finish what they began 30 years ago? Tell me, what price does my blood fetch? No matter. Whatever the sum, you will not live to collect. My fallen comrade! Those machines appear to be something more automaton. If we don't destroy them, we'll be overwhelmed. Surrender yourself, gent. By all the saints, your judgment is long overdue. Judgment? By what right? The people of Stonebridge are guilty of far worse crimes than mine. I spit on you. Murderers and traitors all. Murder and betrayal? Who do you accuse? Not you. I've not seen your face before. And you are a mystery. No, I speak of these merry meisters in their pretty clothes and all the people of Stonebridge. They tore open the doors of our chapter house, dragged us into the streets, murdered my brothers, my sisters, the whole damned legion. You were there? You actually saw what happened? I was there. I saw these people with my very own eyes. Watch them slaughter legionnaires who refused to fight back. Many joined the mob, sir, but many more did not. Half your people stood by, while the other half did murder. Did you hold the killers to account? No? Then you share in their guilt. And the people who killed the legionnaires? They were never tried for murder? None of them? What could we do? Arrest half the city? 
Even the constables had sided with Jane and her mobs. Why did you survive when all the other Legionnaires died? We were ordered to stand firm, to face the mob down, to raise no hand in our own defense. A stupid order, meant to shame the people into sparing us. But rabid dogs have no shame. I fled into a causeway and promised my dead comrades that I'd see justice done for them. If you claim to be a legionnaire, then tell us your name. Archambault du Payen, senior apprentice to the Grand Mage, last survivor of the Legion. No, not the last. Look at me, brother. We stood at Hearthfire together 40 years past, spoke the rites, and made our oaths to the Legion. I remember you. Odo, the tracker, the tireless scout, the watcher of roads. How can this be? In my dreams, I saw the whole Legion dead, scattered around a great tree. You saw a tree. Was it full of ravens? Just as you say. Sometimes I see my fallen comrades scattered about its base, an army of corpses rotting in a foul and twisted wood. Every time I close my eyes, the dream is there. What about the radiant youth, the child with golden hair? Have you ever met him at the tree? No. I saw him only once, at my induction into the Legion. Odo was there, and saw him too. I thought he'd turned his back from us. Or just from me. You and Odo were friends? No, I hardly knew him. I was a mage apprentice. Odo was a... scout of sorts. Scout is a kind word for what I was. You're a criminal, but you're a legionnaire as well. Hand him over to me and I'll see that he gets a trial. He'll hang, I expect, but that's a quick death. Better than he'd get if we tossed him to the people. Wait, he's a legionnaire. He's one of us. And he's a mage. If we give him to the town, all his knowledge is lost. This man is a criminal, sir. He tried to ruin our city, and who knows how many lives he took. Would you let him walk free? We need more information before we decide what to do with him. Ask your questions. I'm sure the constable will be eager to learn how I eluded him so very many times. The trouble in the foundry, the automaton rebellion, that was all your doing? My designs, yes. For their execution, I must give some credit to the people of Stonebridge themselves. Are you mad? The people of Stonebridge? How are we to blame? If not for your cruelty and greed, would the foundry workers be so quick to rise up? If not for your murder of the Legion, would you need an army of automatons to defend you? I took what you gave me, Constable, and I turned it against you. Did you mean to launch the Automaton Rebellion when you did? No, you forced my hand. I'd hoped that the trouble in the Foundry would last a few more weeks, and I'd have time to turn all the Automatons against the city. As it was, I turned half to my side at best, not near enough. You used the criminals in the crypts. They abducted the automatons, and you modified them. Yes, you have it exactly. A slow and painstaking affair, but my accomplices were more than willing. Reputation has its benefits, even in criminal circles. Simple enough to bend one's admirers to one's will. Learning how to exert control over the automatons, that was the challenge. Fortunately, I was able to steal as many books from the college as I liked. And I had my own magical knowledge to draw upon, too. It took some 
experimentation and a few ruined automatons, but I learned. Why attack Stonebridge? What did you mean to achieve? To leave these people as they left me. Ruined, defenseless, alone. Their fine city lying in pieces around them. Who else could demand satisfaction for my brothers and sisters? The Meisters would never have listened if I had gone before their courts. I was one man, alone. And my survival was inconvenient at best. Did you intend this all along? Thirty years? No. I only meant to steal back the treasures that they plucked from the Legion's corpse. Tomes of magic. Heirlooms that belonged to friends. But I gained a reputation. I learned that one man can be as fearsome as an army if he cultivates a legend around himself. Only in the last five years did I dare to dream of the city's fall. And I came close, did I not? I may have failed, but they will never forget. Witnesses said you could disappear at will. You've been hiding the causeways? The Legion left many causeways behind. No one knew they existed save for me. But they couldn't always take me where I needed to go. The Foundry, say, or a troublesome Meister's estate. So I created causeways of my own. Not a simple art to learn. And when I hang, as I assuredly will, the knowledge shall die with me. You live 30 years in the causeways? Did you ever come out? When I wished to come out, I did. The constables were looking for a well-dressed old gentleman, because that was what I allowed them to see. If I dressed as a workman or a clerk, darkened my hair with pitch, I could escape their eyes. So you moved about the city with ease, kept an eye on the constables without their knowledge. Sometimes I clothed myself in rags and tottered about the main square. No one gave me a second look, and I could observe my enemy at leisure. That beggar! The fellow who shouted rude names at me whenever I drilled the automatons in the square? That was you? Was it? I'm sorry, Constable. I don't recall. All right. I'm ready to make a decision. The gent is your prisoner by rights. What shall we do with him? We'll take custody of the gent. He won't trouble your city any further. I, for one, am convinced by his story. I cannot approve, but I understand. I must vigorously protest. This madman tried to bring down the city. I'll not have him running loose. My word that I leave you in peace, Constable, on the following terms. First, that your fine council grants full support to the Legion. Second, that you find the ones who slaughtered my Legion brothers, if they yet live, and hold them to account. I dare say we have little choice, sir. Very well, I agree to your terms. That's one matter settled, but we still owe the Legion a vote. I'll convene the council at once. Was this then what the Legion had become? A bitter old man bent on revenge? I didn't want to believe it. The Gent was a true man of the Tenth, and its ideals still lived in his heart. Though the Gent had committed terrible crimes, the Legion had need of his knowledge. His skills would serve no one if he went to the noose. So the dapper old Gent returned to the Chapter House, his crimes forgiven in the eyes of the Legion if not the people of Stonebridge. We have gained a powerful ally, and the people of Stonebridge have pledged themselves to our cause. As long as Jane Cassinder remains a threat, they have little choice.